Marine mammals are heading to the big city. Whales and dolphins spotted in the waters off of New York and Massachusetts. According to an official with the Whale and Dolphin Conservation Group, they are looking for food. And experts say water cleanup efforts have made it easier for marine animals to find a suitable snack. And that is bringing them closer to the coast. In New York, CNBC's Valerie Castro got an up-close look. Lunch feed, one o'clock. A humpback whale feeding in the waters near New York City is more common than you might think. The fact that it's right here and I don't have to go to Massachusetts to go whale watching is even better. American Princess Cruises runs daily tours from Brooklyn in search of dolphins and whales. Our goal today is to find these beautiful creatures. Wildlife experts say it's getting easier to spot them because they're returning to these waters like never before, drawn to a resurgence in food supply. Sometimes we get these massive group sizes, I mean 200 plus animals, you know, and just phenomenal sightings. And it's like dolphins as far as the eye can see. Scientists with the Wildlife Conservation Society deployed underwater listening devices around the New York Harbor to learn more and picked up these whistles, clicks and buzzes. <laughs> A sign that the animals, in this case bottlenose dolphins, are feeding in droves. We're detecting them in areas that people never thought, you know, they would see dolphins right off here off the, you know, one of the greatest cities on the planet. Decades of legislation and industry changes to clean up the water have reinvigorated the ecosystem. Just last year, these dolphins made their way up the East River, swimming against the backdrop of the city skyline. Out in the open waters of the Atlantic, Captain Tom Palladino says the large schools of bait fish guarantee almost daily sightings. From 1945 to 2000, We've seen, we would say, two or three whales a year. It has gotten to the point this year and last year, we're on almost 95% sightings. So it's just, and it's getting better. The flip of a tail or lunge for some lunch. All promising signs that nature can slowly be restored. These changes can happen through time, you know, if we give wildlife and the habitats that depend on a chance. And even though you might have more of a chance to see these animals in the wild, experts warn that they are federally protected and getting too close is illegal. Whale and dolphin watching tours like the one we went on earlier this week, they work in conjunction with NOAA to follow federal guidelines to ensure the animals are enjoyed from afar.